Especially when it's a slice of the best. Howdy, 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 partners. It's uh, Blind Box TV again, and uh, we are going to continue uh, tipping point today. I'm turn the speech off on my phone because that's a distraction to all of us. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Um, so, if you remember the last video that we did on tipping point, uh, Karen, I think, had just got through to the final round and um, she's got I think something like 1800 quid okay so this is how the final round works they put one counter in it's a big one um, and it's worth 10,000 if they get that counter off they win the 10,000 pounds if they don't get that counter off but they you know obviously they're going to get other counters off They'll get £50 per each counter that falls off and they add that onto the accumulated score from the other rounds. The way they earn counters is there are, I think, six subjects and you can have a question worth one, two or three counters. Obviously, the more counters you go for, the harder the question. So a potential 18 counters if you went for the hardest question in each category. And you're going to try and get the 10000 out. When, when you've finished all your counters... Uh, from the quiz part of the round. If you haven't got the 10,000 jackpot out, let's say you've got two and a half grand, they'll, they'll give you a gamble. You can gamble that two and a half grand on three more counters. If you don't get the 10,000 pound counter out, you get nada, nothing, squat, diddly squat, diddly 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 diddly. So, um, yeah, I think I've explained that all right. Obviously, most of you all know what tipping point is anyway. I'm assuming that uh, there's an American equivalente. And um, as usual, my little baby boy, Gizmo, he's here with me and he's giving me kisses. Gizmo's my lovely little cat, he's my little baby. My little baby. And I love my baby. And he's just looking at me now like I'm a freak. I can tell because his head just shot up. The chair specialists. Right, so here we go. Over to Mr. Ben Shepido. Shepido in his speedo. Oh, you wouldn't want to see that, would you? Oh, would you? I don't know. I've heard he's quite an attractive chap. Is our Ben? But although there are things about being blind that I wish I could see. Ben Shepard in speedos is not one of them. I can assure you with that. The US soon, and Las Vegas and Hawaii is one of my dreams. Oh. So I think I'll take my partner for to Las Vegas and Hawaii. If oh, Las Vegas and Hawaii. Don't be greedy, Karen. Don't be greedy, Karani. Thank you. Time to find out there you go so it's exactly what I said it is six questions here we go Ben I'm going to drop zone one drop zone one it is oh it hasn't been used in the whole show this one so She'll have a fair few counters. There we go. Nothing. There you go. So I'll start at the top and I'll go for three counters on the drink. Ooh, three three I don't think I'm going to be good at this. Said to come from the Italian for bread and small basket. What name is given to a Tuscan salad that includes soaked no. bread? Panzanella, caponata, Tuscan Tuscan so bread and small basket. Okay, so bread I guess. I'll go Brussala. Italian and French is pan. So, yeah, so I need to go for panzanella. Panzanella? Yes. Yeah. That's good logic there, Karen. Please. Good logic. Is the answer panzanella? Yes! 
Well done, Karen. Raw beef is would have been what I'd have gone for there. So uh, that would have been rubbish for me. But I would not have gone for free on food and drink. Here we go. Light it up, light it up, blah, 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 tonight. To the left, to the left. There you go. Clearly the excited one that jumped out of the machine. Which is up to 1,850 pounds. One more to put in. Drop some one, please. Come on, drop some one, please. Drop some one, please. I'll have drop some one, please, mate. Here we go. Another eight, that's 400 quid. Right, so she's now got over two grand. It's getting interesting, isn't it? It's getting interesting, Gizmo, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, history's not my thing either. Uh, I'll go Troy. I think I would have gone Troy. The Trojan Wars, I believe, have started from Troy. Do you know what? I'll tell you why I got that wrong, because I'm a Moor. I didn't listen to the question. Troy was a Greek city. Carthage was a Roman city. And how do I know that? Because in the film Gladiator with Russell Crowe, they have the Battle of Mighty Carthage in the Colosseum. So I'm annoyed at myself with that one. Again, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm just not very clever. It's a mystery. That's okay. Enough of there, Ben, but I don't care. I've already got two grand in the bank, so come uh, on, Ben. Fame. You know. Fifty quid. Two thousand for it. Nearly two and a half grand. She's getting on towards it, isn't she? I said about two and a half grand, didn't I? We'll see. We'll see. Well, well, none of us will see actually, because you can't see the screen, and nor can I. Gizmo can though, can't you, baby boy? Oh, he loves a little squeeze, does our Ben. There you go. She's over the two and a half grand. Oh. Go oh, on, push accessories. He loves the accessories, does our Ben. Gets most of his from Ann Summers. Yeah. So we're a good nick here, Karen. Back to the categories. We're in good so, nick. Kaza, Kaza. I hate these the subjects. Is defined as being an argument about what? Words, people, or food? I'd, uh, well, I'd go for words because so it's of it, language. Logic, um, logo, logomachy, words. It's the only logic I can come to, Ben, so I just go for words. Can I have words then? Yes, please. Go words. I'd go logomachy. words. Is it an argument about words? Yeah. Well, the only reason I picked words there was because the subject was language. That's it. So. Middle for diddle. Ooh. 
Oh, it's a rider. Karen's a rider. Giddy giddy rider. Giddy rider. Giddy giddy rider. Giddy rider. He keeps asking for one up. I'm think I'm I'm wondering where he wants the one. Up where Ben? Up where? Stop, stop. Was that a bit too deep for you, mate? You asked for one off and then you're screaming, stop. It might push it this way. A bit too deep for our Benjamin. She hasn't missed a counter that's thus far. She's been unlucky because I know people that have done this with, you know, four counters, five, six, seven. She's had nine already. Well, this is the ninth, I should say. Too much bouncing yeah. there. Too much. Hopefully, get another fifty pounds though. Keep your money ticking. Yeah, well, that's it. will be a month. So we're up to two thousand six hundred fifty pounds with that extra count, but just dropped. Didn't get the jackpot counts moving, but we still got a long way to go. Let's have a look at the categories. Okay, it's not mature. I will put technology for three, please. Right. Technology for three. Here we go. Full HD TV screen is how many pixels wide? One thousand three hundred twenty. One thousand six hundred twenty. One thousand nine hundred twenty. I've got absolutely no All idea. Right, yeah. So I'll just go for one thousand six hundred twenty. Straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. We're gonna take one six twenty, please. Yeah. Ten eight. Oh, oh, Full oh. HD TV screen has a set number of pixels in terms of its width. Does it have one thousand six hundred twenty or one thousand six hundred twenty one? Let's have a look. I thought it was like a 1080p, so 1000. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. 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 I don't I wouldn't imagine it's flute because he's, he's obviously singing. You can't sing whilst playing a flute. It's one or the other. Is it violin or piano? It is violin. Oh, I'm wrong again. You know, if it was Family Fortunes, that would have been worn out, I think, with my answers today. Oh yeah, oh he liked that, didn't he? Did our band? Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, getting it closer and closer. Could have dropped a bit corner over there, couldn't we? Yeah. Get this time, three counts dropped, another £150. Dropped someone. Dropped someone. One up, please. Thank goodness she didn't give a drop zone four, or it'd be saying four up all the time. I thought he was more of a sheep man, our Ben Shepherd. You'd have to get a few cows in, wouldn't you? For four. Get the others up there. All of them. No, I mean, I don't, I've, I've got nothing against him. He's all right, Ben. It's just a bit boring for me. I, like, I think I mentioned in, a, in, a, in another video. I like the chase. I think Bradley Walsh is just funnier. You know, I like a bit of yeah. bit of comedy. You know what I mean? Something to keep me invested in a program which is very visual. And I can't see. Oh right. Do you recognise those athletes? Yes, all of them, yes. And to be fair... I'd probably go for Fatima Whitbread. Any of them. There's only one that I can think would name themselves as the world's greatest female athlete, and it has to be Jackie joining the Kirsty. But... Valley Gunn was pretty good as well, isn't she? Um, I've got to go for Jackie joining the Kirsty then. I've not heard of her. Sally Gunnell I've heard of. And she's certainly not the world's greatest. Fatima Whitbread I've heard of. I don't, I don't know who that middle one is. Greatest female athlete. Is it about Jackie Joyner Kersey? Yes! 
Never heard of her. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay, um, drop the one, please. Let's do it. One up, please. Drop the one, please. Three counts to see if you want. Let's get down. Here we go, Kaza. Here we go, Kaza. Here we go. Here we go, Kaza. Here we go. Oh, come on, yeah. Getting a bit excited there, Ben. Close to orgasm now. Is she gonna yeah, do it? That's not bad, that's not bad. If we can shove them forward, then they wanna go, then they wanna go. Oh, they're not gonna go. They're not gonna go, Ben. Okay, one more. Calm down. One up, please. I mean, she's done well. She's had 15 counters in. It's just not gone her way, has it? Not meant to be. Certainly not dropping yet. It's a bit more help, so. We're out of questions, we're out of counts. There's none over though, Karen. Here we Karen, go. There's no why. With the way her looks gone, she's got over three grand, I'd take it. Don't be greedy, Karen. Don't be greedy, Karen. Okay. So I take the Forget Las Vegas, just go to Hawaii. Three counts be enough. I've always heard if I got to £3,000 and there wasn't an immediate chance of a drop in, I would take the £3,000. I'm going to take the money for you. Okay. I'm going to ask well done, Karen. Don't take the money for the trade. I'd like to take the money, please. Congratulations, well Karen. Not a bad day out, sir. No. Yeah. Are they going to show us what yeah. would have happened? It will. Have a really fabulous experience. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Big question though, would three counters have been enough to get that jackpot into the wind zone? Let's find out. Here we go. Drop one. Way off target. Drop two. Drop two. Sell the right past the jackpot counter. And the final drop. This is the final drop. Ah, that's nowhere near. No. Well done, Karen. Beautiful. Well, there you go. That's another Blind Box TV edition tipping point today. And um, please do feel free to comment on the video with any suggestions of uh, TV programs that you want me to watch. Um, do subscribe and share and like and all that lovely stuff. I'd really appreciate it. And if you are interested in... Um, subscribing and you want to know I, I pretty much upload a video most days um, so enable all your notifications and uh, should be alright anyway uh, I'll see you around thanks for listening and uh, God bless